we interact with any other human being, whether it's somebody that you know or somebody that you'll never know, somebody that you meet or somebody that you'll never meet, somebody that you tweet, any kind of interaction with any other human being, including yourself, you have the opportunity to move their life and your life forward or backwards for that matter. Or for that matter, we have the opportunity to change the course of the planet. Now I know that might sound bold and flamboyant, and it's not just my belief, and if you can use it, then that's great, or if you can use it to change the quality of your life, that's even better. Now I admit that I am the eternal optimist, and I tend to look at things in a positive way and what we can do to make things better, and that we are actually making a difference and we are making some improvement. But I believe that we all have our role in this world. We have a role in, a, in an opportunity and a responsibility to make a difference. The age-old processional effect when you throw the pebble into the pond, it doesn't just make an impression when it goes into the pond. The ripples move out and it affects the lily pads and the ducks and, and everything else. What's well, the same impact that you have in the world? So starting here, starting with ourselves and starting with our interaction with other people, here's a great thing that you can do. Anytime you have that opportunity to interact with anybody in any form, any form of communication, you have two choices that you can make. The first choice is to love them. And the second choice is to not love them. If you love them, Physical, emotional, and energetic things happen. And this is not conjecture, and this is not airy-fairy California woo-woo stuff. This is real deal science. It's real physics. When you put your attention and intention on somebody, and you actually love them in whatever way, just show them some sort of love, your entire being, your energy grows. Literally, your electromagnetic energy grows and they can feel it. And when they feel it, it changes them. We've all had that experience where you're sitting in your car and you feel somebody looking at you. And all of a sudden, you look over and of course they're looking at you. And vice versa. You're looking at somebody, you, you see maybe an attractive person, you're checking them out or whatever, and they catch you looking at them. Well, what happens is because you put your intention and some sort of positive energy towards me, even if it's just curiosity, they feel that you radiate out and they feel that energy. I had the great opportunity to learn this when I was really quite young. I, I grew up in a small town, uh, a desert town called Lancaster, California. It was a small town and in small town, everybody knew everybody. And one of the things that would happen is if you, you were walking down the street and you saw somebody, you'd always say, hi, how are you doing? And you'd at least interact with that person and say hello and be courteous to them. In the late 80s, I moved from that small town to Hollywood, California to achieve my dream as a musician. And I'll never forget, very shortly after I got there, I was walking down the street and people weren't paying attention. People wouldn't interact back with me. I'd say hello and they'd look at me like I'd just slapped their mother or something. And I remember thinking to myself, well, these people suck. These people are plastic and no wonder they talk about Hollywood as being this in LA and, and the city just sucks and this is just terrible. And then I had to ask myself a question that I didn't like at the time, but I had to do it. And sometimes you gotta do that. And the question was, what if it's not them? What if it's me? And I thought, of, well, of course it's them. I'm me and I'm friendly. But the reality was I started thinking a different and I created something that I call my 50 foot rule. And the 50 foot rule is, is anytime anybody comes within 50 feet of me, I'm going to look at them and in my mind's eye, I'm gonna pay some attention to them. And in my mind's eye, I'm just gonna say to myself, to them, I love you. And of course, as I said before, when you do that, it changes you, but it also started changing them. It didn't take very long at all that people started to kind of snap out of it and, 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 and perk up a little bit and, and interact with me. And sometimes they would, act, they would ask my name or they'd say, how are you doing? And I literally got it that I could change other people as I was doing that. And what my personal belief is, is as we do that, we make a difference in their life and they may carry some of that on to make a difference in somebody else's life. We're all on this planet to give and receive love, and that's what it's all about. And again, as cosmic as this may sound, this is the opportunity to make a difference in the world. Those of us that dare to dream while the rest of the world is having a nightmare, we not only stand to inherit the prosperity that we seek, but we're also going to be the leaders to help guide the rest of the world to a prosperous and a more loving place as well and make this place a better place for all of us. So remember this, life is exactly what you dare to make it and fortune favors the bold. So boldly step up and get out there and love somebody. <laughs>
Love yourself, look yourself in the eyes, look yourself in the mirror, give it to yourself and boldly step up and dare to make your life magnificent. And I will see you at the top. Bye-bye.